Welcome to Affiliate Buzz, the longest running program on affiliate marketing. James and Arlene Martell are here to inspire, inform, and motivate you with expert insight, interviews, and information that will increase your bottom line. Advance your affiliate marketing efforts every week on Affiliate Buzz. Now, please welcome James and Arlene. Hi, it's James Martell here, and yes, welcome to edition number 462 of the Affiliate Buzz, where we've been keeping affiliates inspired, informed, and motivated to succeed with affiliate programs since way back in 2003. If you're joining us live here today on Cranberry Radio, it's really great to have you with us. If you happen to be joining us through a podcast on your smartphone, tablet, computer, or Wi-Fi radio, a very special welcome to you as well. Arlene is away today, however, not to worry. I do have a very special guest joining us, Vicki Helm, co-author of a groundbreaking new book, Ultimate Freedom, Unlock the Secrets of a Life of Passion, Purpose, and Prosperity. Uh, and if you're wondering, and of course our listeners are very familiar with Joel Kahn, what he has to say about the book uh, is that if you value success and freedom, this book, Ultimate Freedom, is for you. So today we're going to talk with Vicki about her, her book and creating an abundant future today with success in both your business and personal relationships. Vicki Helm is an acclaimed best-selling author and business development strategist. She is a business trend expert and a new revenue consultant. Vicki is an international speaker, seminar leader, and trainer who possesses a very unique perspective as both a recognized business development strategist and a leading relationship expert. Vicki, welcome to the Affiliate Buzz. <laughs> Thank you, James. I'm really excited to be here. I was looking forward to it all week, and it's great to be on your show. Thank you for having me. Well, wonderful, and it's great to have you on board with us. And, of course, you and I just had a little bit of a quick conversation, and I yeah. had a I had a question all queued up for you, but I'm going to change it because right. you had mentioned to me that you convinced everybody to sell everything and move yep. up to the 8,000, 8,100 foot level, I think you said. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's into right. a cabin yep. in the beautiful Colorado Rockies. Tell us that story. Okay. So, you know, we, uh, I always wanted to have the dream mountain home. You know, some people like the beach home, but I like the mountain home. I'm very fond of bike riding, mountain biking, and hiking. And for a long time, I wanted that mountain cottage cabin that you could run away to in that retreat. And so when I found the one I wanted, I fell in love with it. We bought it. We had it for years. We'd go up for, you know, the vacation. We'd come back. And finally, I decided... I really wanted to live rurally in the mountains where I could do all the activities that I wanted. And, you know, my lifestyle affords that for me. I have an online business and online products. And so we did. We, we talked about it. And, you know, my kids are out of college now. And so we sold the homes and the condos and we just, I downsized too. I had the big 5,000 square foot home and I just wanted to downsize and, uh, you know, the cottage here is only 1,500 square feet, but it is home and it is perfect. And right out my door, right out my door, I am in the face of the largest mountains in Colorado. I face the 14ers. What's in front of me is 14,500 feet, and I'm at the base of it at 8,100. Nice view. Sounds it's gorgeous. Uh, very John Den Denver-esque. <laughs> it is. It is exactly that. <laughs> uh, a, a little Rocky Mountain high for sure, <laughs> which is, is. funny because Arlene and I, we just literally, within the last month, we have seen an amazing John Denver uh, tribute artist who sang his entire song library. And it was just uh, with pictures of of the Colorado Rockies in the background, kind of, or video actually, in the, playing in yeah. the behind the, the band. It was quite something. Yeah, I am very lucky to live where I live. I have over 360 days of sunshine here. It's really beautiful, and I just am i am very fortunate to have the lifestyle I have. Oh, that's, that's amazing. It sounds like you're above the clouds. I am. It's so true. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're 8,100 feet up. There's, there's oxygen, though, still up here, so that's good. <laughs> so now, so now... This is such a great topic because 
we see people, and I hopefully not many of our, our buzz listeners. Uh, in fact, I would highly suspect that many of them are not like this. But you run across people all the time, and I think we all do, who are they're bored silly out of their mind. They're stuck in the proverbial rut. They're commuting. They hate it. They've accepted the status quo. They basically figure, this is my life, and I guess I got to just accept the way it is. And in your particular case, you obviously didn't do that. But what what and your book is kind of about that what what inspired you to write ultimate freedom thank you that's a great question and i really want to answer both pieces of that the reason the number one reason i wrote this is to help people have discernment about how they're building their life so that they can have the freedoms that they want and to protect the freedoms that they want and my story happened when I was younger, my mother was in a very abusive relationship. And uh, back then, there were no safe houses, there weren't strong laws that were protecting women. So um, I came home from school, I was in first grade, I was six years old. I came home from school and my mother was just slumped over the table crying, I mean, crying her eyes out. And she looked disheveled, you know, her hair was a mess. and. And I remember coming in and feeling very shocked and I just dropped everything I had in my hands. I ran over to my mother and I was like, mom, what's wrong? Mom, what's wrong? Mom, what's wrong? And she couldn't, she couldn't even look up at me and she, she was crying so hard. And I remember I just hugged her, that's all I could do. And she knelt down and hugged me, hugged me, hugged me. And after she let go of all of her tears, she set me up on the counter and she looked at me and she said, Vicki, I want you to listen to me very carefully. And I could really feel the importance of what she was going to say. So I just sat and listened. And she said, Vicki, don't ever let yourself get stuck in a relationship you don't want to be in, in a job you don't want to be. Just don't ever let yourself get stuck. And at that time, I didn't realize everything, but I knew she was stuck. She didn't have the freedom she wanted. And she didn't want me to experience what she was experiencing. So when I wrote about the ultimate freedom, you can get stuck without even realizing you're being stuck. And people live status quo lives because they're, they're trying to be responsible. They've got bills and debt and family and things they want to take care of. And they think if they go for their dreams, that might be, that might, that that might jeopardize the family. It doesn't feel very responsible to them. So I think that's really the basis by which we wrote the book to help free people. Now, with with that, there are people that are, and I can think of a few that I know in my life that is not really from the business side. These are more the personal side where they're mm-hmm. absolutely feeling trapped in a relationship that they just have no no clue how they're going to get out of and one in particular and I think about her and she literally knows she needs to go but she doesn't leave she just cannot do it and everything's screaming at her in every direction of her life that's saying get the heck out of here but she yeah. just she stays mm-hmm. what I, do you th- I, can- I'm just going to say well, what do you think how, what kind of advice could you offer to that type of scenario Thank you. There's a, there's a couple of things that um, I remember from when my mom went through this. There were times where she felt helpless, as though she didn't have enough, you know, uh, chutzpah to get out or intelligence. And so the first thing that comes first, if somebody is being violent with you, whether it's emotionally violent, physically violent, or both, if there's any threats of any kind, the first thing you need to do is get safe whether that's a safe house, a family member, or whatever. Just go get safe because when you have, when you're in the middle of that war zone, there's always some sort of post-traumatic stress going on. There's always that stress. You, you tend to not be able to think clearly. You have to go ahead and feel safe first in order for your mind and your discernment to come back on. Then once you're safe, you'll be able to create a plan for you. And that plan has to include the question of, how did this happen to me in the first place? Where did I give my power away? Where do I need to shore up my ability so that this doesn't happen again? 
These kinds of questions are deep. You have to go deep inside you and be willing to answer those so that you never go through this or are manipulated by some seductive scenario again so that you have some some stability for yourself. Does that make sense? It does. That does. Now, I'm here with Vicki Helm, co-author of The Ultimate Freedom, How to Unlock the Secrets to a Life of Passion, Purpose, and Prosperity. And when we return, I'm going to dig a little deeper into this uh, conversation with Vicki. And I want to talk about why uh, people live and more right after the break. More affiliate buzz coming up after we hear from our sponsors. How much are your best ideas worth? PriorThings.com gives you an added layer of protection for all of your intellectual property, ideas, and creative things. New business idea, pitch deck, PowerPoint presentation, song lyrics, source code, killer blog posts. We help you pick it all. How do we do it? We use the same technology platform that secures transactions for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Learn more at PriorThings.com. Check out exclusive listener pricing for Cranberry Radio listeners by going to bit.ly slash Founder Circle. Looking for a white label SEO and social platform for your clients? Think eBrands. Free and unlimited SEO audit reports. eBrands. Premium Facebook apps and welcome page creators. eBrands. Twitter management app, analytics, and mobile site generators. eBrands. Let eBrands manage your search and social media campaigns and give you and your clients access to their white label dashboard, which have great reports that will wow your clients and deliver great ROI and results. Try eBrands. Brands for 30 days. Go to ebrandswithaz.com or call 1 866 625 5717. That's ebrands with a Z for ebrands. Do you look at the task of ranking your site at the top of the search engines like you would climbing the top of Mount Everest? It doesn't have to be. TopSEOs.com knows how hard that climb can be, and they can make top ranking a reality. Top SEOs send you to only the right search vendors and agencies that they know will work for you. Since 2002, TopSEOs.com has reviewed and researched the best search engine marketing agencies and solutions providers. Don't risk the cost of falling off the proverbial peak of search rankings. Let Top SEOs give you peace of mind. TopSEOs.com, the independent authority on search vendors. Content for your ears and everything in between. Cranberry.fm. Time now to hear some more affiliate buzz. Here's James and Arlene. Arlene is away today. However, I'm here with Vicki Helm, co author of Ultimate Freedom Unlock the Secrets to a Life of Passion, Purpose, and Prosperity. Now, Vicki. Before the break, you talked about finding a safe place and how important that is, basically, to paraphrase, uh, you know, to so you can, I guess, start thinking straight a little bit again and kind of have some things turn back on. And I also noticed in your book, you, you talk a lot about freedom. You talk a lot about, uh, in fact, the title of your book is Ultimate Freedom. And I know when Arlene and I sometimes head down to Seattle, which is about two and a half hour drive from where we live here in British Columbia, mm-hmm. that uh, we go by one of the big Air Force bases on the West Coast. Yeah. And there's a big sign as you come through the highway or the, the interstate there. And it says, please, please pardon the noise. It's the sound of freedom. And it's because there's jets buzz in that place quite often, and they're loud. Yeah. And you go on to mention that freedom is not a right. Could you, could you elaborate on that? Yes, this is the key thing. I mean, when we look at freedom, the confusion that we get about freedom is that we, we, when we see freedom as a right, we, we tend to protect our right versus pursue our freedom. And freedom is really a pursuit. So in the basics of your life, you have one life, you have a certain amount of years before you pass on, you don't know when that is, you don't know what the quality of wealth is that's going to carry you, you don't know if you have 30 years of, of, of health and well, well-being, you don't know if you have 50, you don't know what's going to happen. So freedom is really pursuing what it is that you want to experience, have and do and this is what our military really provides for us. Our military protects the right of freedom in the United States. In order to honor our military, it really is about 
pursuing the gift that they provide for us, which is protection of that freedom. So when I tell everybody in the book, I say, it's not your job to protect your right to freedom. It's your job to pursue your freedom. And that's really actually how you protect your right to freedom is by pursuing it. Now, of course, there's many types of freedom. Sure. That you that you elaborate on in your book. Take us through that. Yes, this is the key thing. And this is what I found out. Now, when I was doing the hi, please don't get stuck, Vicki, I did not understand what freedom really meant. And I realized over the years, as I began my study of it, that freedom is really a multi-layered thing. So they found out in the 80s, it was a big conversation where people say financial freedom, get financially free. And then they find out that a lot of financially free, very wealthy, wealthy people were miserable. So they understood that freedom, financial freedom doesn't create happiness. And in order to have that full package of freedom, there are what I call the six keys to freedom. And there's financial freedom, emotional freedom is number two, spiritual freedom is number three, and number four is time freedom, number five is social freedom, and number six is creative freedom. And they're not in any particular order. These are the six key freedoms that you have to command or control in order to have maximum and or ultimate freedom in your life. So why is it people, do you feel then, that you know they go and they live the, rout the routine life rather than going after what they truly desire? You know, I have thought about that for a long time and I've spoken to so many people about it. And I believe that there are really five keys to that. One is people love safety and they love safety more than following their dreams. Following your dreams is risk and jobs are not they're just routine and so training some people are trained from the day they're born you know get good grades go to college they're just fundamentally trained to take a track or a path and then the other thing is fear you know when you go for your dreams you're going to meet fear of failure and some people let that possible fear stop them and some people jump through it and of course, self-doubt and lack of confidence, that'll stop you from living the life of your dreams right off the bat. And then debt. Debt is the number one killer of freedom. So when we look at debt, if you're out of college right away and you're thinking, well, I got $60,000 in student debt, I gotta start paying it right now, I gotta, I gotta work any job. And you can lose focus about what it was that you went to school for in the first place. And we see that happen all the time, don't we? Oh, it is everywhere. The students right now are just drowning in debt. I noticed on your website, and I watched the video, it's about one minute long, and I would encourage everybody to do so. And we'll share the website, uh, theultimatefreedombook.com, under the, uh, uh, the heading, The Secrets, I believe it was. You talked about... No, I think it's, uh, we'll let them fight it, or you could point it out to us. But you were I, talking. I think it's under the book. <laughs> yeah, you shared, you shared Henry, uh, let me just, I flipped out of my screen here. Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry's <laughs> philosophy, there it is. Mm -hmm. Explain yeah. that to us, because that's all about freedom. Yes, it is. And that's the whole thing. Freedom and the philosophy expressed in having the, what the ultimate freedom is worth is that Patrick Henry knew that he was the, first off, he was the give me liberty or give me death guy. And he understood that freedom was our basic fundamental wealth, that to be free to do what it is that you wanted in your life. That was the fundamental of having quality of life at all, period. So regardless of religion or politics or race or power or anything, a man would have rather died than give up his freedom because he had no life. So freedom really was the lifeblood and it's the real heart of happiness with anyone. And he expressed that in the give me liberty or give me death. And so, forgive me, I complete ignorance here, being the Canadian and not 100% up on U.S. <laughs> history, so this obviously goes right back to the beginning of yep. the foundation of the United States of America. That's correct. That's correct, yeah. And who, who, was, who was Patrick Henry? 
Well, he was an attorney, act actually, and then, you know, everybody back then, everyone was a farmer first, and then they had a second career, and he was an attorney as a second career. He was also a politician, and he was uh, governor of Virginia, and uh, he put his, you know, he did the Stamp Act in 1764. His most remembered for his, what they call the give me liberty or give me death speech, along with, you know, Samuel Adams and Thomas Paine. And that was, that's where they're from. They're, they're the forefathers of our country. Brilliant people back in those eras. Brilliant. And sometimes yeah. I think uh, we always have this tendency to believe because we're later on in in life and we're two, three, four hundred years ahead that we're smarter. And I don't think that's the case in a lot of cases. There was a, a lot of brilliant people back then, and there's a, a great example of that. Yes. But, now, I'm here with Vicki Helm, a best-selling author and business development strategist. Uh, and when we return after the break, I want to talk a little bit more about the book and how it creates a, a roadmap and a guide that helps you make the choices that benefit you and your goals uh, and your dreams. We'll talk more about that with Vicki right after the break. More affiliate buzz coming up after we hear from our sponsors. Is your website act? Is your website displaying error messages or loading slowly? Even if there are no signs of malicious activity, your site may still be compromised. Websites, like cars, require regular maintenance to perform at their best and not leave you stranded. At Fjord, our website maintenance experts can help you assess which one of our maintenance plans will best support your needs. Visit FjordDigital.com or call 612-877-3840 and get the support and protection your website and business deserve. That's F-J-O-R-G-E Digital.com. Looking for a better way to get more traffic and interaction to your Facebook page? Imagine Facebook interactivity on your page like you've never seen. Introducing your new Facebook marketing fix, So Social, the new and revolutionary way to easily manage and automate your Facebook contest and sweepstakes. Create a fun, easy-to-win contest by writing a simple Facebook post. Watch your post go more viral and generate loads of interaction. Track your traffic and generate email lists with ease. So Social is mobile-friendly and complies with Facebook terms of service. Let So Social give your Facebook page some flash today. Zoom over to zosocial.com. Where affiliate marketing gets its buzz and mobile has its presence. Cranberry Radio, online anytime at cranberry.fm. Time now to hear some more affiliate buzz. Here's James and Arlene. Arlene is away today. However, I'm here with Vicki Helm, best-selling author and business de development strategist. Now, Vicki, tell us about your co-author. Oh, Mia Bolte. She's fantastic. So Mia Bolte is a psychotherapist and a uh, teacher that teaches at Naropa. She's a professor there. And she is also the co-author of this book. And she has the same values and views as freedom. And it just made writing this book together a, a collaborative process that just made sense to us. Somebody that might be finding themselves in the rut, stuck, wanting to make a move and improve their life, uh, whether it be the personal relationship side, the business side, or probably both, what's a good mm -hmm. first step? Well, that's good. The first thing that I want to say it's a kind of a three-step process. One is you really got to know what it is that you do want. What do you want out of your life? You really got to know how you can move forward with your map by knowing what it is. The second thing you got to do is say to yourself, what is it that you're willing to learn, willing to do right now? And it, it's going to take for you to move from point A to point B, it's going to take whatever it takes. So uh, the bigger the dream, the bigger the vision, you've got to be able to step into the kind of person that can step into that big vision. And then the, the third thing I think we need is that's very lost is discernment. And discernment is a form of intelligence that is not driven by opinion. It's not driven by emotionalism. It's driven by facts and it's driven by, you know, understanding uh, what truth is and valuing what it is that you need to learn in order to get where you need to be. Discernment, I think, is 
really paramount right now. What would you say would be a really good sign uh, that somebody would see that it's time to make a change? Mm, you know, there is something that I call there's there's three stages of changing really for me that I that I like to talk about. One of them is called divine discern, divine discontent, and divine discontent is when you just naturally grow out of something. So, uh, for instance, when you're a little girl, you like to play with dolls, and then suddenly you've outgrown the dolls, and you don't know why. You don't really hate them. There's nothing wrong with them. You've just simply outgrown it. And people outgrow their jobs, they outgrow, you know, their careers, and they suddenly find themselves feeling restless inside. That feeling is a clue. Then there's the, I've had it. So, you know, that one more time you've been disrespected at work or taken advantage of, or you go home and you think, I just, I've had it. I don't make the money I want to make. I, I want to do something different. I've had it. And then there's the forced change, which is, hi, here's your pink slip, and you've got to go get a different life. Hmm. And so suddenly that's forced on you, or whether that's a spouse passing away, whatever those things, those are all three of those are, are part of how you can walk into change. Of course, the easiest is when you decide to change. So number four is when you make the decision to do something different. And those are really how we walk into change. Now, of course, this is very scary stuff for a lot of people. Sure. Probably almost everybody, uh, I would think, myself included. And there's some courage needed here. There's some, you know, step up to the plate type of thing. Where, where can you, how can you help with, you know, getting the, getting the strength to say, you know what, I'm going to do this. I have to do this. Well, one of the things that um, I always help people understand is that no matter where you are in your career, whether you're, you know, wildly successful or just starting out, everyone needs a support system. And we often forget to become or put in a place, a support system ourselves. And so what does a support system look like? Well, it looks like the opposite of what you're doing. So whether you take that first step and say your first, and you can grow out of support systems and need to go to the next level, but having a coach, having a group of people that you can join and talk to, uh, whether it's subscription-based or whether it's at your local church or your local you know, networking place, you need to go ahead and put the support systems in they're going to allow you to make the change because somewhere along the way, the first steps of change are hard. And change, once it once you get through it, it'll be natural and easy. But the first steps require support. And so the first most important thing you can do is say, I want to be here. This is who I want to become. And then before you make a plan, make the plan to put your support system in place first. So you have, you know, your coaching and your mentoring and your reading library so you can move into it full heartedly. What about what about those who may be finding themselves stuck in a place of, you know, pride or stubbornness or maybe they're embarrassed of where they're currently at and they're and they don't they're, they're they they know they need a support system, but you know, then they're going to have to come clean. They're going to have to share sure. the stuff that they've been maybe hiding. Sure, sure, James, that is a really good question. And that's where, you know, that's where you have to be willing to come clean about with yourself at first. I mean, if you're going to have a support system where let's I'm not sure where, you know, what the scenario is that you're embarrassed about, whether, you know, I just recently talked to a woman who said she'd been carrying around guilt for 30 years because her marriage fell apart. And she had been, you know, she couldn't figure out how to fix her, her marriage, and she had a lot of shame. So depending on what that is, first off, forgive yourself. And second off, there are no real mistakes. I, I believe that everything can be turned around. Everything is there in front of you, whether it feels awkward or embarrassing or shameful, to help you go to the next level. It's to look at where you've been stuck. So, and, and until you're willing to confront that, if you're too ashamed or you're too egotistical, um, especially if you're egotistical, that's that's going to be really hard. 
because the ego needs to be brought to his knees before it's willing to step into another level. Mm. But if you're mm. just relax and forgive yourself and say, okay, so I'm here, big deal. Okay, this is where I'm at, big deal. I have to go ahead and go to the next level. Reading a book is a good place to start. It's, you know, reading is powerful as far as getting answers. So at your library, pick up one book or wherever, just pick up one book on the topic that you want to get, not get over, but get. So now I can see we're coming up against the clock. Where can listeners learn more about yourself? And, of course, where can they find a copy uh, of your book? Well, the book is The Ultimate Freedom, Unlock the Secrets to a Passion, a Life of Passion, Purpose, and Prosperity. You can go to theultimatefreedombook.com and pick up a copy there. You can obviously go to Amazon and get it. You can contact me through Smart Group Firm dot com and there's a contact page right there and you know vicky helm at facebook wonderful well vicky thank you so much for joining me today this has been wonderful james thank you so much for having me it has been really fun talking with you I can see we are out of time. Keep in mind that if you missed something Vicky mentioned here today, that we do also take all the show notes for you, including links to everything Vicky mentioned uh, during the session today. And you will find the show notes for this particular episode at jamesmartell.com forward slash AB462. I also invite you to come out and hang out with us every Thursday afternoon here on Cranberry Radio at 2 p.m. Pacific time for the affiliate buzz. And a final reminder that if you'd like to be alerted each week to new episodes, I invite you to take 30 seconds right now and subscribe to the affiliate buzz by sending a blank email to affiliate buzz, sorry, affiliate underscore buzz at aweber.com. And if you do so right now, you'll also receive my free report that shares 15 affiliate programs for you that will pay you a recurring commission. So simply send a blank email to affiliate underscore buzz at aweber.com. Now, again, Vicky's website was theultimatefreedombook.com, and I encourage you to also go check that out right away. Vicky, thanks again. And to our listeners, thank you for joining me for another edition of the Affiliate Buzz. opinions expressed are those of the hosts and their guests and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff and management of Cranberry News Marketing and Cranberry.fm. Rebroadcasts or retransmission of this content without proper consent is prohibited.